job or high position if you're going to work any kind of way. Uh -huh. Some people go to their go to the work and just do just enough to get by. Mm -hmm. Well, God is not in that. You're just going to uh, just enough to get by and you get paid real good. Just enough to get by. Well, you're not working to the glory of God. You're not working to God. You're just working just to get by and that means just to get a paycheck. And they cannot see God yeah. in that sickness. If God don't heal them, God is still able to give peace happiness and joy and comfort mm -hmm. in that. God can give you the strength to take care of somebody that's sickly in your home. God have possibility. God have joy. God have peace. God have understanding. And God has strength in mm -hmm. Jesus' name. Mm -hmm. God will put joy back in that home mm -hmm. because there's a lot of people have children that um, disabled and different dis able um, situations and they happy with that disabled child and you, and you can see that they happy and they treating the child real good that's God yeah, 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 that's yeah. God yeah, that's God they ain't worried about no paycheck because the government helping them mm -hmm. they love that child that's so right. what that child disabled that's, that's the child right. that God gave them mm -hmm. yeah. in Jesus that's name right. so that's you know right. we have to turn to yeah. God and everything don't say God why just pray and ask God how, how I can do it. Come on in. Bring the love in me. Bring the joy in me. In Jesus' name, God is able to bring love and kind and peace in that home. And he's also able to heal Amen. them in that home. We don't know what God is going to do. Because um, Pastor Ron um, Parsley, he said his son, he had a, a disease and, and, and God healed him from it from that disease that he had. He had a, dis a disease for life. And um, it's, it's some kind of uh, disease that the, the children have, and, and autistic or something. Oh, yeah, yeah. And God healed his son from, from that right there. Mm -hmm. and, and the doctor said he, he would never be healed from it. So he so um, Pastor Ron Parson, he got on the TV and said, God healed him mm -hmm. from it. He don't have it anymore. So we don't know what God is going to do when we pray and serve in God with all our heart, with the joy of the Lord. So I just thank God. Our life has possibilities. Mm -hmm. Yes, man. For joy. And then I look where it says, Psalms 141, it said, let my prayer be set before him. And then verse 142 and 2 said, pour out my complaint before him. So you want to tell God about all your complaints, all your problems. Because in the book of Isaiah, for the one chapter, it said, come on, let's reason together. Mm -hmm. Tell me all about it. So God has an ear open. If we notice when we read the book of Psalms, David tell God about everything. Oh, yeah. There's not nothing David didn't tell God about. David told. Now, you know, you have some brothers and, and sisters, and, and then they're going to tell, they tell on the other brother. David's going to tell. Uh -huh. Let me tell you, David, he told. And so, you know, David told when uh, somebody in the house of faith he used to go to the church with, and then they became an enemy. Mm -hmm. And he fed, when they were sick, he fasted and he prayed with them, and they became his enemy. David mentioned that. He said it wasn't no enemy. It was the one that went to the house of faith with me. Mm. And David told, hallelujah in Jesus' name, when he was having problems with, with uh, Saul, he prayed to God in Jesus' name. David was the one that when he played the harp mm. and, and he played it unto the Lord, even the demons was being cast out of Saul. Uh, Saul. Yeah, yeah. So David was the one. He was before God. That's why yeah, well. David was after God's heart. God loved him so because mm -hmm. David stayed before God. He told him about every problem. And then he, he asked God even times, Lord, where are you? I pray day and night. Where are you? Come to my rescue hasty. Mm -hmm. David told God all about it. Every problem that he had, he told him before the Lord mm -hmm. in Jesus' name. So just like David could tell God all about his problems, you read about different problems, different things, that you read in the, in the book of Psalms, you can realize that your problem 
You can tell God just like David told God about all his problems in Jesus' name. And we read about it mm -hmm. in Jesus' name. Mm -hmm. So we can tell, we don't have to hold back. We don't have to say, well, you know, you know, talk to people or I don't have nobody to talk to. I don't have nobody. You have God. Yeah. Yeah. And if you tell God you're not worried about nobody else backbiting, yeah. talking about you behind your back, or discussing your problems with somebody else in yeah. Jesus' name, or discussing your problem with his enemy. Yeah. And so, you know, we, we just thank God that we can tell about God and he ain't going to tell nobody else. And God is the one. That's what David cried out to the Lord. And God heard him. He even cried out to God when he had an evil heart. Yeah. He said, Lord, create in me a clean heart. He said, I sin against you. Mm -hmm. And so when we got to realize that when we sin, we're sinning against God. Amen. Yeah. In Jesus' name. The one that made us, the one that's going to help us, the one that's going to protect us, we're sinning against him. Because he the one is going to bless our life. I have a plan for your life, mm -hmm. he said, and it's a good. And so if our life is not good, we can turn to God because we have blessings and promises in the Bible. All kind of promise in the Bible. God said it. He'll bless us in Jesus' name. Mm -hmm. God even said, count our blessings one by one. So we thank God for all our benefits. We just want to give God the praise and thanks Amen. in Jesus' name. Yeah. So we want to go before God. With our complaints and reason with him. Because mm -hmm. sometimes, you know, uh, yeah. when we have um, difficulties and we try to reason with man, it still might not come out right. Yes. But with God, we can tell him all about it, and I guarantee you with God, it's going to come out right. Because when we get it all out to God, we're going to have peace at the end. Because we told him all about it. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to be looking for him to do something. Because we are a servant of God. Yes. yes. And then from there, I went to Mark. Then I went to Mark. Mark 23. And Jesus said, Nine, 23. Mark 9, chapter, verse 23. Mm -hmm. Jesus said, If you can believe, all things are possible to him mm -hmm. that yes. believes. Mm -hmm. Mm. And so that's what Jesus telling us, if we can believe. That's what we read in the, in the Bible. It said believe. It said trust. But if you can believe, mm. all things are possible to him that believe. And also in that chapter, this man wanted his son healed. And he told Jesus, Lord, help my unbelief. unbelief. And so if we have a, a little doubt in us, we know God can do it for somebody else, and it's hard for us to believe he can do it for us. we got to say, Lord, help my unbelief. You did it for this person. Lord, I know you can do it. Help me believe you can do it for me. we got to yeah. be honest yeah. so we can get our prayer through so God can break the yoke in Jesus' name. Yes, Lord. Yes. So i like to help my unbelief yeah. in Jesus' name. And then so I left that, and then I went to Luke. Chapter 1 and 35, and what that says, for with God, nothing is impossible. Because mm -hmm. with God, all things are possible. So, you know, I thank God with God, all things are possible. God can do it. Yeah. God can do it. Well, man, it's impossible. Not with God. God can do it. Yeah. So, you know, we want, we want to read these scriptures because these scriptures is talking to us for every problem, every situation. Because it goes along with the plan that God has for our life. We got to believe God. We got to trust God in Jesus' name. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. And then from that, first I went to Mark eleven twenty two. 22. Jesus said, have faith in God. Mm -hmm. Because in um, the ninth chapter of Mark 19, it said, oh, faithless generation. We don't want to be faithless. We want to obey Jesus in the 11th chapter when he said, have faith in God. Have faith in God. We want to have faith 
Nobody can have faith for you. That's right. We all got to have faith individually yeah. for ourselves. Just like we believe that Jesus could, that he died for our sins and he cleansed it. We got to have faith for every problem in our life that God can solve it. He can fix it. He can answer in Jesus' name. Mm -hmm. And it goes down to 24th verse, 11th chapter of Mark. It said, when you pray, believe that you receive them and you shall have them. Mm -hmm. And then I looked and I seen it in the book of Luke, the 11th chapter, verse 40. Jesus was talking to Lazarus' sister mm -hmm. when Lazarus died. And Jesus said, did not I, let's say, Jesus said, didn't I not say to you that if you would believe, you will see the glory of God. Mm -hmm. So if we would believe, we're going to see the glory of God because we know man didn't do it. We know it's a miracle. That's the glory of God. Yeah. So I want to say to each and every one in Jesus' name, whatever problem that we're facing in Jesus' name, first thing we want to cast the doubt out of us. Get out in the name of yeah. Jesus. Every yeah. doubt, yeah. every Thank unbelief. Yeah. And let faith come in. Holy Spirit, move. Let your faith come in in Jesus' name. Yeah. And we want to see the glory of God we the one have to believe. So I'm saying if you would believe for your situation, you would see the glory of God. Amen. Now we want to go to the questions. Okay, question number one. That his or her life had possibilities. Why? That his or her life have possibilities. Why is it important? Because if you have faith in God, you believe that you have the possibilities to do with your yeah. Go ahead. Okay, like um, I I was struggling with 